How you doing guys, Malik over at Modern Pawn. I'm gonna show you guys one of the knots that I use all the time. It's called the Tarpon Knot. Uh, it is a really easy to tie loop knot that has very good performance. One of the other things I really like about this knot is the fact that you can tie it in almost any size line. I, I've tied it in 100 pound fluorocarbon and 100 pound mono. I've tied it all the way down to like 6X and 7X uh, fly line tip it which is like three pound and two pound mono filament it is absolutely tiny stuff and all the way up to something like 550 cord it works on all of that so we're gonna use this orange 550 cord to give you a better look at what we're doing what you're gonna want to do guys is take about eight or ten inches of line and you're gonna tie a double overhand knot you're gonna make a loop go through once go through twice and start cinching this down until it rolls over and forms a figure eight. You don't want to go any tighter than that yet. From this point, what you're going to do is you're going to put whatever you're going to tie your loop knot to through the, ta the tag in through the loop. You're then going to follow the tag, is going to follow where the main line is running through this figure eight knot. This line right here is coming out of this loop, so you're going to want to follow it in the same direction. And the line here, the main line is going through the loop this way. You're going to want to follow it the same direction. So we're going to go this way. What you should end up with as you slowly cinch this down, it's kind of like a little, like a, a slip knot. It's going to slip down all the way to where you want to do it. So you can pull it relatively tight. You don't need to hammer down on it yet. You don't want to totally lock it up right here. So just snug it up to whatever you want to use. Now this is where you're going to control the size of your loop. You're going to tie another double overhand knot that's going to tie around both the tag and the main line. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a loop and you're going to go through once, go through twice. Now where you cinch this knot up is going to determine how big the loop is going to be. The further back you cinch it, the bigger the loop, the closer up, the smaller the loop. So at this point, you're going to cinch this knot up, and then you're going to pull the two until they're going to start coming together. They come together, you can then cinch this knot up, cinch that knot up, and what ends up happening is you have this knot stopping in that knot. That's basically the tarpon loop. It works very, very well. You can tie it in the finest uh, two pound tippet all the way up to 100 pound mono, 100, 100 pound fluorocarbon. I've tied it in. It works really well. Why do you want a loop knot on a top water like this? What this loop knot does is it helps enhance and preserve the action of the lure. If you were to tie a tight clinch knot directly to this eyelet, what ends up happening, the stiffness of the, of the mono or the fluorocarbon that you're using ends up wanting to kill the action or mute the action of your bait. You want this to be real light and free flowing. It's one of the reasons we use circle or, or loop knots, is we want the bait to be able to move and twist. That's why a lot of guys will put a split ring to the eyelet and then, then tie their clinch knot to the split ring. Uh, I prefer to take the split ring off and tie directly to the loop. I've had, uh, especially on, on real heavy wigglers like a bait like this, I've had those split rings catch the mono and then work their way off where they uh, you know they start wanting to, to, to come off from that this right here is a very 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 strong connection you're not going to have any problems with it we've been fishing it for a long time that guy's little tiny fly i don't even know if that'll show up on the camera but that right there is two pound tippet you're i'm able to tie that same loop knot in a two pound tippet the other nice thing about this knot is that you don't have to pull super duper hard to seat the knot uh, so that when you're using fine line like this, you can you get the knot tight without having to worry about breaking your knot every time you're trying to cinch it. Uh, it holds good, very good quality knot. Something like this, which is 100 pound monofilament. Uh, take it, we're gonna tie our double overhand, double overhand, pull it on the monofilament. You'll see how we form that figure eight. That's what you want right there. Take your hook or whatever you're tying on there, slide it on. Follow the path of the main line in and out. 
You're then going to use the tag in to cinch that knot down. See how it rolled over? Knot rolls over. We're going to take the rest of the tag, make a loop, and tie a double overhand knot around the loop and the main line. Lubricate that. Pull that tight. And now as I pull this, one will pull to the other. And we have our loop knot. Uh, with circle hooks, it works real well. Uh, it, it helps preserve that action. It helps as the as the fish is coming away from coming away from you and has the circle hook. It helps really you know, grab the circle, bury it in. Uh, you can trim the tag pretty close on this. It stays nice and weedless. Nice, good, clean, compact knot. She looks still. She looks still strong. Good job, Marky. Right. Good job.